Hello. Hi, Colin. How's it going? Yes. Frank O'Connor. Nice to Frank meet you. Frank O'Connor, nice to meet you. And for the record, what's your title? I am Franchise Development Director at 343 Industries at Microsoft. All right. There, you can have that for your records. Awesome. That's going to go on the wall. So let me see if I can get to some questions. Um, I'm not going to ask that question. Uh, what kind of new weapons can we expect to see? In which game? Halo 4? Which one do you want to talk about? Uh, which one do you want to talk about? I uh, don't know. We, so there are obviously there are no new weapons in the Halo Anniversary Edition because yeah. it's a remake, right. and, uh, but all the classic weapons are returning. And yes. in Halo 4, we haven't talked about that yet, but there's a few clues in the trailer itself. Okay. Um, Uh, will Halo 3 or 4 ever come to PC? I don't know. Uh, it's, I mean, we haven't discussed it. It's not in the plan, but it's not impossible. But no plans at this present time. Okay. Uh, here's four questions from Sigjorn in Norway. Uh, where will he get his weapons and ammo? What kind of enemies will we see? Will you have a helmet HUD? And how long has he been in space? Uh, so if I remember those, uh, I'll go backwards. He's been in space for an undisclosed amount of time, but it's not a short amount of time. Uh, he will get his weapons from, uh, at least partially, from the giant military frigate that he is ensconced in. What were the other two questions? Uh, what kind of enemies we see and helmet HUD. Uh, there will be changes to the HUD, of course, as there always are with every single Halo game. We haven't discussed those yet. And, uh, Enemies are going to be uh, an important part of the game, and we'll reveal more about that later. Okay. Um, will the jetpack return? Uh, in the trailer, he's definitely exhibiting some kind of booster system, but right. to call it the jetpack might be a little disingenuous. Okay. Um, again, sorry guys, I'm scrolling through no, the questions fine. pretty quick. Um, what new features will separate Halo 4 from Reach and 3? Uh, I mean, I, I wish I could tell you, but yeah, those are yeah. things we'll reveal at a good time. All right. uh, but we'll evolve any... it respectfully. Yes. Yeah. Um, do you have any notion on what events we should expect those releases at so that we can look forward Certainly to? Certainly we'll tell people a little bit more about Halo 4 at PAX this year, starting okay. August 26th through August 28th in Seattle. Um, and, you know, as we go through this 10th anniversary, we'll be celebrating in lots of interesting ways. All right. Um, is Halo 4 going to be on a new engine or an existing one? Uh, Halo Anniversary exists on uh, two engines simultaneously. It's a Halo CE engine with a graphical layer running on top of it. And we haven't discussed the engine for Halo 4. We'll talk about technology later. One more question. Um, Are you adding new game modes to Halo Anniversary? Um, we'll be doing stuff in matchmaking that's going to be pretty interesting. We'll certainly be respecting the original uh, the original matchmaking system like feel, uh, albeit across Xbox Live. We'll have more to talk about that at the All right. Thank you very much for your oh, time. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Have a great day. You too.